All right, guys, I had to, I had to step away for a few minutes. So, you know, I kind of sprung that on you guys real quick, but uh, had to take care of some stuff before I uh, <laughs> hopped on here. And uh, I know a lot of people were, you know, right in the middle of talking and I thought I'd go on for a little while after this one and up. Uh, hey, double X Deathstroke 21, how is it going? Yeah, I was on earlier and I had the orange ice cream cone and the chili fries and I got interrupted. Just me out there. How's it going? Yeah, I had to I had to use the facility, so I'm back. <laughs> I think it was the uh jalapenos or something that shot through me. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So I'm back after I did my Took care of business. Yeah, so like I was saying, um, air fryers and all that other stuff. Yep. <laughs> yep, you got to take care of stuff, you know. Fortunately, I was at the right out here in front of the thing. Yep, you got to go. When you got to go, you got to go. And uh, that one was the one you got to go. <laughs> Hey, happy chatty world. Yeah, I know a lot of people like when they um, like Recycle Dude or whatever, they got their little screen and they got the... Yes, I did. I did a, a review on the Matrim Gummies. You can go in my library. There's a video for the Matrim Gummies and I think it was Ring Pop. Ring Pop Gummies as well. I did a video on those. So, yeah. You can check that one out. I did it a couple months ago. It's actually got it's got it's been pretty popular. A lot of people have watched it. Yeah. The uh, Matchum gummies, it was like um they're like gummies, but they were like um little uh little blocks like Legos and you put them together. Different flavors you put together. You could build them and it was like you put like cherry and lemon together they were like little legos it's kind of cool oh, okay yeah maybe if, if you want to like i said if you guys um want to get in touch with me you can um email me at drew's food reviews at gmail.com and uh you know if you want to arrange to send something to me or whatever uh you could contact me there also, I'm on Instagram at uh, Drew's Food Reviews. I was on Instagram, and I believe it's also on Twitter as well. So I've got the links in my um, homepage. So, um, yeah, the hot Skittles, they're pretty good. I tried the dark side Skittles a little while ago. Those are interesting flavors. Yeah, they weren't real hot. The... Um, the hot Starburst and the hot Skittles, they, were, they weren't they were that bad. They, they really didn't have much punch to them. I've had some things that are a lot hotter. And, uh, yeah, that's the thing I get kind of disappointed when I see stuff and it's like red hot or whatever. <laughs> hey, Ira Z wants to send a tarot pie. I don't know how good that would go in the mail. I don't know. Might get, uh mushed up in the mail i don't know although i did get a um i got a treat pack from japan it had lots of different things in it it had uh cookies and chips and snacks and i think i even got a soda so yeah they are a little bit a little bit different and actually i tried i just tried a bunch of different gummy candies and all the other things so yeah they've got They've got a big variety when it comes to, like, uh, different stuff. I found the Matchums at uh, Walmart. Walmart Market. Neighborhood Market. I found them. They were at the checkout, checkout st uh, counter. Um, no, I don't, I don't know what coffee milk is, but I don't know. Well, uh, yeah, I don't know. I all I know is a Vegemite. You're supposed to have it with butter and toast. At least that's what I've heard. 
I've seen some people that have actually had it. They said it's good, but I don't know. I'd be willing to try it. Try it for you guys out there. Like I said, if um, anybody wants to send me anything or they want to make a request, I'll try to, I'll try to find it or I'll try to give it a shot. Oh, okay. Yeah, huh? I don't know. I don't think they have that here. We got like uh, boba tea and like milk tea and stuff like that. That's a You know what? Here we go. There we go. There you go, I Ray. Been meaning to do that since you're in the chat all the time. So I Ray is now I Ray Zilla. <laughs> so there you go. I Ray has the power. Because he's always in here, so he's a cool dude. So whenever you come on my chat, I Ray, you got the you got the power. Yeah. Yeah, that, uh, you know, that Reese's Hershey bar, I wasn't real impressed with it. Those things were so small that I couldn't really taste them. I would have had, rather have it had, had it be peanut butter. <laughs> uh, well, you know, here we go. There you go. So you're in there, yeah. I try to make some people mods on my channel just because um, I don't always know who everybody's going to be in here. Yeah. Yep, yeah, Ray, you got a wrench. So, <laughs> you're in blue. <laughs> yeah, they got that. Then they also got, now they got the M&M's bars and they got the... Um, some of these other candy bars where they're combining them. So I don't know. I'm not sure. It was just so small that I couldn't taste the, the little Reese's Pieces bits in there. And like I said, if I wanted a Hershey bar, I'd have a Hershey bar. And then I, if I wanted the peanut pieces, I'd have the Reese's Pieces. <laughs> oh, why? Scent one would, uh, you know what? Scent one would probably get carried away. Chronic out. Realms, yeah. I'm not, I, I don't know. It just didn't really wow me. Um, although I did try uh, two new things and I filmed those reviews. I got to put them up. I got one. It was the, the maple bacon donut. Are you talking about the cereal? I tried the cereal. I didn't like the cereal. Um... Yeah, I don't know about maple bacon donut bars or whatever. But, uh... Oh, yeah, no, I haven't... I really haven't had the donuts. I don't know any places around here have donuts like that. Actually, I think we... No, I take... Actually... <sighs> well, I'll make you a mod if you want, but since you don't want it, so... I don't know. All right. Happy Chatty World. Thanks for stopping by and uh, joining me. Like I said, I was I was just going on here for a little while before I have to head out and do my uh, food testing. Also got to go to the store and pick some things up a little later, but I had a little time to hang out with you guys for a while. Yeah, well, I'm... I don't mind them once in a while. Um, I could mod someone from the phone by um, clicking on their name in the chat and giving a moderator status, but that's only in your chat. You can't make people mods on your channel unless you go live, I guess. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah, I got I got a few mods. I'll, I try to add some in here and there because, like I said, not everybody that's around. Dark Twix. I did I try those? I think I might have. I don't know. 
I tried new, two new uh, Reese's peanut butter cups and they were both pretty good. One was uh, Reese's stick and that was like a Kit Kat kind of Reese's piece. And um, then I tried the one that was called, it was actually pretty good. It was Reese's nut rageous bar, outrageous bar. It had, it was a, um, it was a bar with peanut butter and caramel, and then it had the Reese's Pieces, and it was chocolate covered. Kind of looked like a baby Ruth. I tried that. That was kind of that was interesting. So yeah, they are coming out with new versions of stuff, or classic candies and stuff. They're putting new versions of them out. So yeah, every time I turn around, it's something new. Like a hey. Happy Missy 101, how is it going? Thanks for stopping by. Like I said, earlier I was in the live. Earlier I had to step out and now I'm back. I was over at uh, Wiener Sissel and I got some chili cheese fries and also got a orange dipped ice cream cone. And I actually, <laughs> I think I needed it because, uh, yeah, just thanks for stopping by and saying hi and leaving a thumbs up. Yeah, like I said, I was in the middle of the stream and I had to had to step out for a minute. And I don't have the fancy OBS software like where the people can leave it running and put the screen up. Uh, yeah, actually, I did. Uh, I got one up there. I got like a red hot thing. It was actually a mango habanero red hot that I got to put the review up. Like I said, I've got, I have at least 20, at least 20 reviews that I've still got to edit and put up. And I've got probably, right now I've got at least two weeks of reviews that I've already posted and they're ready to go. So if I keep going at this pace, I'll have the next month's worth of reviews ready to go if I get to editing all of them. <laughs> that way I'll be a month ahead. <laughs> and I just did a, um, I got the toffee M&Ms and the the Thai coconut and then the jalapeno. I found them all at Target, but when I went in there, they were they didn't have some. And then I found them again at Big Lots. And then when I was in my grocery store the other day, they had a display, and that's where I um I actually found the one that I posted on, on my community page, the Big League Chew Gum, the grape. I've got grape and uh, sour apple, so. Yeah, I got at least 20 reviews, yeah, that I've filmed. And I, you know, when I was doing all my late night, when I was doing all my late night chats and stuff, what I did is I filmed a review before I did the, the chat and I got them all stored up and I still got to go through and edit them and post them, do all that stuff. Yeah, I do, I do them occasionally. And then like today before this one, I actually did a, I did a, a food review for you know I'm gonna do it on Friday I'm what I've been trying to do lately is on Mondays I put out my classic candy corner and on Fridays I put out the new the new items from like you know McDonald's and stuff like that and then the rest of the days I kind of sprinkle in you know other stuff um did I try yes I did I did try the dark Twix I have a review out there uh, a couple months ago where I did um, like three different flavors of Twix. I did a dark Twix. I did a Santa Claus Twix. And I did a, I think it was a white chocolate one. I don't remember. It was all in the, it was all combined in one. If you go through my library watch list, it's out there. <laughs> yeah, late night. Uh, I'm supposed to have dinner. Yeah, I think I should not have ate, ate that uh, super hot uh, noodles last night because I, uh, I think I had a little bit of issues with it <laughs> afterwards. But, eh, live and learn. I'll be good after a day. Uh, yeah, that was a little hotter than I remember it. But, you know... I took it like a champ, I guess. <sighs> yeah, I don't know how the people do the super hot, like the Reaper pepper and all that other stuff. It tears me up afterwards. 
I'm trying to lay off the hot, hot stuff lately. <sighs> yeah. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff out there to review. And like I was saying earlier, that you could make a review out of pretty much anything. All you have to do is just, uh, you know, figure something out. And sometimes it could even be stuff that you've got lying around, leftover things, you know. That's what I actually got one series out there. I haven't done anything. I haven't done for a while. And I think I'm going to, I'm going to pick one and I'm going to put that up again. I had a series um, called What's Good. And what I was doing with that one was things that were, you know, that are out for a while. They're not like new releases. They're not like, you know, anything different or new. It's things that have been out for forever. And like at the, you know, like the fast foods, like a Big Mac. Big Mac's been around and it's just a good, you know, it's just a good sandwich. And you can't really say it's new or whatever. It's like a, you know. A review of something that's been out there or or like my favorite I kind of used it like when I was doing like my favorite items from places like there's a place behind me right now called Togo's and they have like a pastrami sandwich <sighs> yeah they do they do have that and they have it with bacon but I don't know that they I I saw a thing that they're gonna stop uh, doing the bacon for a while after a certain amount of time, they're not going to have bacon anymore. So if you want to get your bacon Big Mac or your bacon Quarter Pounder or your bacon cheesy fries, go and get them while they're still there. Because apparently they're going to be going away. Surprisingly enough, when I did my bacon cheesy fries back in November, I didn't even know that I was in like a, a test market where they only had it in Northern California. So yeah. Hey Queen. How's it going? Yeah, sometimes we get stuff here that we don't that other places don't get and uh other places get stuff that we don't get. Seems like Ian's always got the cool stuff. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I'm not I'm not up on movies and things that are getting released. I don't really go to the movies much anymore. I watch them at home. <laughs> yeah, the quarter is not deluxe, I guess. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, eat eat your food in the car, yeah. Sometimes it is safer, but when I'm out, when I'm out and about, you know, got to combine the stuff from the reviews. And like I said, if I would have taken that ice cream home, it would have melted before I got home. So I had to, I had to go and do something. So some things don't travel well. So you have to do the, you have to do the review from where you're at. Yeah, so do what you can when you can, I guess. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that's the thing. DQ, we don't even have a DQ here anymore. We got a foster freeze and we got the wiener sizzle and they have the... Okay, cool. That's good. But yeah, we only have the Foster Freeze and uh, Wiener Sizzle. We also have a Baskin Robbins, but those things are pri that's a Baskin Robbins got way pricey now. I went in there the other day to get a, a milkshake. For a small milkshake, they wanted like $7 for a small milkshake. And then the big one was like, you know, $8 or something like that for a milkshake. And that's that's too crazy for me. Especially when the ones at um, McDonald's you can get for like $2. Big Mac. 
big difference between two dollars and eight dollars for milkshake so yeah that uh yeah maybe i'll have to do that uh ice cream review i don't know cold well, i got a cold stone here too that's right yeah we used to have one but they they closed it down we used to have a dq we used to have uh, a couple other places they got rid of them they got rid of my pizza hut they got rid of uh one of the burger kings in town they got rid of a uh, place i used to go una Mas. yeah dq i'm not real wild about it and the dipped cones are you know kind of eh. i don't know their ice cream's not the best there i don't know if it's a, like it's, it's really like a substitute ice cream soft serve what i really like is custard yeah I actually just uh, saw on the news that um, they opened up another Shake Shack near me. And they supposedly have custard and french fries and um, burgers over there. It's supposed to be pretty good. But uh, the place that uh, is near me is probably about an hour away. So I don't know. Maybe one day I'll take a trip down there and check out Shake Shack supposed to be pretty good they just opened up another location that's the first time out in california so we'll see well at least northern california i think they have them in southern california yeah that's true um if you get them like at uh costco or sam's club or something you get the discounted ones but yeah, usually if you go to Cold Stone, it uh, it runs a little bit of money, like you know, five bucks for a small little thing. And then they, I've also seen places that they've got here called their rolled ice cream. I want to try those because they take like the ice cream and they put it on a cold marble stone, and then they like you know spread it out real thin, and then they roll it up, and then you eat it like in a little roll. That was actually kind of interesting, and. Uh, what else did they have? Um, we got a lot of places around here. Boba tea, the little, the little tapioca balls in them, and um, not nah, just a couple other things. Other places there. Oh yeah, that's cool. I didn't go anywhere on Black Friday. I stay away from the stores on the Black Friday. I don't want to. I don't want to fight. I'm not. Uh, I'm not into all that uh, craziness. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. I'm. I don't like to pay a fortune, and like some of these places that I went today were kind of, kind of pricey for some of their stuff, and you know that's a little bit much. Like I got that Angus truffle burger, and it was six ninety nine for the burger. And then if you got a double, it was $9.99. So that's like, you know, a little much. I don't know. Seems like all the places now are are up. Oh, yeah, okay. I do a lot of that. I, I get a lot of stuff from Amazon or from eBay. Or... Sometimes you can find the stuff online that's a lot cheaper than if you would go to, like, the stores or whatever. And I know I get a lot of accessories for my uh, phone online yeah black friday people you know out in those stores and stuff people getting up at like midnight and you know one o'clock and they're shopping all hours of the day that's that's a little crazy for me and i don't want to get into all that kind of craziness and all the people fighting and punching each other yeah i will um, I just, I don't really go out to eat that much, like at, uh, you know, sit-down restaurants. I usually cook from home. I do a lot. That's why I post on my Instagram. I have a whole lot of stuff where I put them on um, Instagram. I'm always, I always cook something at home, and then I go out and I do the food reviews, you know. That's about it, and then I'll have, like, something for lunch, and that's kind of my week, you know. I maybe eat out once a week. 
And like, I don't go to the sit down like the Denny's or Chili's or anything like that. I don't know. I'd rather cook it at home. So that's why I do a lot of, I've done cooking videos and dishes that I've done. Sometimes I just post pictures on my Instagram because it's nothing, you know, spectacular. It's just like hamburgers or, you know, something like that. Yeah, and also I remember way back in the old days when Christmas time they had the Cabbage Patch dolls when they came out back in like the 80s. I heard someone threw, some lady threw a glass uh, display case when they were fighting over the Cabbage Patch. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's always, you get the, the rewards points or whatever. But I, I don't know. I'm just not the... Uh, I'm not... Um, what? I'm going to have meatloaf for dinner tonight. That's what I'm making. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Everybody's got their favorites and stuff. But yeah, I'm going to have uh, meatloaf and uh, I think mac and cheese this time. I actually made a... Uh, meat, I did a meatloaf recipe. Yeah, the Cabbage Patch Dolls. And the Cabbage Patch cards, when they came out, they were. That's cool. And sometimes they give you the points and stuff. I got some stuff. Actually, I have a... Um... Yeah, I had a recipe out there for... Um... What was it? Mexican... It was a meatloaf. I made some kind of meatloaf. I don't even remember what it was. It was like bacon... I don't know. I have a meatloaf recipe out there, so if you want to check it out, it's in my playlist. I think it was Mexican meatloaf. I think that's what I did. So on my what's din what's for dinner playlist. But yeah, I've made different kind of meatloaf and stews and stuff. Wow, it's starting to rain here, guys. I don't know if you could hear the rain on the on the hood or not <laughs> so it was nice and warm earlier but now it's starting to rain <laughs> uh no i don't have any i've used all the ones that i've got the one food lab that i do testing at they pay you in uh target gift cards so i used all those when i did a play testing they would give me uh, uh or when i did the game um Food testing, they give you like a $50 uh, Target card. I got $50 Target card for trying um, cat litter. <laughs> it's like two different kinds of cat litters and you had to have the cat try the litter and then you had to give your opinion and then they mail me a $50 Target card. And I got free cat litter. <laughs> so the cats got to try it out. <laughs> Yeah, fun stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's supposed to be raining the last next couple days here, so I don't know. We'll find out. Yeah, I remember when they had the Black Fridays and all the people got in fights and stampedes at the doors and everything. Yes, I have a Roku. I have a Roku for my TV. I got it with, I actually got it with points from some, something I think I, you build up points from when you make purchases and then you can pick out a prize. And I got like, it's a, it's a cheap version of it. It's like the Roku 2 or something, I think. I got some channels on there that I watch occasionally, but I don't watch it all that much, really. I do check out some channels on there, like uh, BritBox is one that I got. Yep, rain is better than snow. And yeah, I've I've checked out some stuff on there. Some of those uh, old um, things where you can get like free application, free uh, series, like old old ones. That have been out for a while. Some of them I went back and I was finding all the old uh, 
yeah, I was finding the old uh, series from like England. <laughs> I was watching some of them. They only had like one season of them, but I was still watching some of them. Like <sighs> the old one that was used to be on, I think it was on uh, Comedy Central. It was called Kumar's at number 42. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I don't watch Netflix. I don't have Netflix subscription, so yeah, I'm not a I'm not up on the Netflix and I don't do Hulu or I don't do uh actually I, I do have an Amazon Prime, but that's about it. And then I have the thing called BritBox and Acorn TV. Those are all the English ver English shows out there. Like uh some of the old episodes of like Doctor Who and um comedies and stuff like that. Um, no, I'm not familiar with that one. Haven't seen that one. I remember there were a lot of, uh, other ones that they had, the comedies. From England, I used to like, uh, Are You Being Served? Um, Benny Hill, uh, a couple other ones. Faulty Towers. Old classic ones, back from, like, the 70s. Then there's been a... Oh, yeah, I might have to check that out. I'll have to go through some of that stuff that I've got uh, out there. Some I've actually tried to watch some of their things, and I just couldn't get into them. Really? They want $200 a month? That's crazy. I wouldn't pay that kind of money. Not for not for the YouTube TV. That's crazy. I don't, I don't want to pay that kind of money. Oh yeah, I have to, I have to check that out. I have to go through a lot of the stuff that I've got. I've still got a lot of stuff that I've recorded from TV that I have to go back and watch. I've got like old episodes of Doctor Who that I haven't got through, and yeah, Amazon does have some good stuff. They've got some exclusive series, and then they put movies out, and yeah, cable is more. I just got a lot of stuff that I've got uh, recorded and I still have to get through them. Uh -oh. Uh oh. Sorry, guys. I'm getting pelted by rain here. And my back window open. <laughs> it's getting wet. Sorry about that. I had to batten down the hatches. We're starting to get rain. <laughs> yeah, so. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, if you could get a deal, that's always good. Yeah, satellites are different. Um, yeah, I've heard of that. I just haven't watched that one. There's a couple of series on Amazon that I... Yeah, I was trying to get into. I tried... Every once in a while, I've got cable, and every once in a while, they'll come out with a, um, a free weekend... And one time it was like NetWeek's free for a week. And then um, there were some other ones. Yeah, I had DirecTV, but now I've got Comcast. Because I got like a deal. They were coming around. They put us all in one package and said, you know, satellite. or Well, you got cable, internet, and phone service for... A, introductory price of a year so yeah then you get locked into it and then every people they're always coming door to door you know direct tv uh was it uh at&t uverse wants to switch over switch over and you get a deal you get a free cell phone or you'll get a you know um tablet or something so yeah they always want you to switch over once you get locked in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I I know some people still have the old satellite dishes. I was talking about that the other day. My friend had, um, years ago, he had one of the first satellite dishes that came out. And it was like the big metal ones. And you had to rotate it to get to the different things. Yeah. That's the thing. 
always, someone's always got a package, always got a deal, and then you get locked into the deal, and then it changes. <laughs> That's not what you told me. <laughs> All of a sudden, you get your bill, and it's like a lot higher than you thought. So, yeah. <sighs> hey, Hawkeye, how's it going? Yeah, I don't, I don't do Netflix, so I don't know. Yeah, they look at the they they get it free, and then you look in the fine print, and then it'll say something like you know, introductory price after like uh, so much time. Yeah, I'm chilling after I had the, I just had those. Um, in the previous stream, um, I was on for a while. I had. Uh, for those of you guys that just dropped in, I was having these chili cheese fries and I had a orange dipped ice cream cone. <laughs> so that was earlier. Yeah, exactly. When they say that the uh, fine print. Oh, that sounds good, Hawkeye. Give me a piece. <laughs> Although I'm kind of full after this and then I got to actually, I actually have to do later. I've got to go do food testing in about... Uh, about two hours i gotta go i gotta go actually i think i'm tasting chicken so <laughs> hey miss miss leticia loves journey how's it going like i said i was on here i did a stream earlier about i had the fries and all that and then i had to step out and then i came back and like i said i'm on i'm be on for a little bit longer but then i have to go i have to go do my uh food food testing for later and all that other stuff so thought i'd go live for a little bit while i was out and about so yeah and i'm just recovering from all that uh, hot stuff <laughs> that i had earlier <laughs> they were good fries they were uh they were Tex-Mex fries and it had jalapenos and I did not forget the hot sauce. I keep it in the car. There you go, guys. I told you I've been traveling with this. Yeah, I know I'm getting old, but yeah, got to keep my Frank's hot sauce with me in the car just in case. <laughs> But yeah, I had the truffle fry. I had the um, Tex-Mex fries. Those were good. And also, for those guys that uh, weren't in here earlier too, I <laughs> no, actually, they're not. You're not able to do that. You have to do whatever they're doing. When I do the food testing, you have to do it however it is that they give it to you because you're tasting like you know their blend or flavor or whatever on it but uh yeah uh for those of guys that's what i had earlier went to wiener sizzle and they've got these chili cheese fries from the usa and i got these ones the uh, uh -huh. no i don't i don't put salt on anything so yeah i got that <laughs> nope you got to be in there and you got to, it's all secret. When I go in there, I got to shut my phone off. I got to be quiet. Yeah, they were good. Um, you can go back and watch the replay of the previous one where I was eating that. I was eating ice cream cone. It was melting everywhere. <laughs> um, the one does gift card. The actually one I'm going to today actually pays, uh, they pay in, uh, give you a check money. So yeah. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, and they get some different stuff out there. They get different things that you got to try and give your opinion on them. You have to tell, like, what it tastes like or whether you like the texture of it or whether you like the... something about it. You got to be really descriptive. And then give your opinion. Uh, no, I haven't seen that one. Not sure. Yeah, it's always good. And sometimes, and plus I get to taste 
whatever it is that they have. One time I did muffins, tasted some kind of different chocolate chip muffins. And one time I tasted uh, cookies and... <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> they hide them. Yeah, I don't have Netflix, though, so... Yeah. I don't have a subscription because, it, you know, it's more money. <laughs> well, what I do is I just... Um, once I get the check, I just go and put it in my account. <laughs> so, yeah. No rig paper trail. It's not, it's not that much money. Yeah, um, I'm not a real big... Um, I play everything on my tablet. All the stuff I play is on my tablet, so... <laughs> Yeah, they do. A lot of people dump their trash. So, yeah. And I have a... Yeah, it is good. I've got, I've got other ways, and I'm not going to discuss how I can get them, but there are ways around Netflix that you can get things. But you do have to be a little bit of a pirate. Arr. <laughs> Not gonna say, but uh, I have watched some exclusive things certain ways, but not 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 gonna discuss it. <laughs> Captain Jack, yeah, uh, uh, he call me Captain Drew. <laughs> That's actually someone on here calls me Captain because. Uh, that one, the video I've got, the search for snacks, where it's a, you know, the, the mission and sailing on that. <laughs> so they call me captain. Because I'm always on the hunt for snacks in the boat. <laughs> going over the seas and all that. So yeah, it's kind of funny. So call me Captain Drew. <laughs> Oh yeah, I do have my crown. Yeah, actually, I do still have it right here. I have it. I have my crown. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. King Drew. Actually, what I was going to do was um, later today, I might go... Um... <laughs> yeah, king of the hot stuff. Um, I'm actually going to... I think I might go down to the Dollar Tree... And I, I might get some, like, uh, some other thing. <laughs> yeah, they are. I might go down to the, um. No, I'm not sure. Is that, like, in Southern California? Because I'm in Northern California. <laughs> Yeah, I have to, um, you know, sometimes you have to, you know, find the stuff that's available out there to watch. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, so that must be Southern California. But yeah, I was thinking of going to the Dollar Tree and getting, like, you know, Mickey's got stuff in her, uh, her live streams where she wears kitty ears and uh, other stuff. And, uh, oh, you do? Got some Doctor Who. Is it about uh, the girl leaving and they're going to pick someone else? Huh, yeah, 2.30. I still got two hours, so. I have to, I'll have to be off of here by 3.30, so. Still got two hours to go. Yeah, thanks for keeping an eye on the time, though. 
Okay, cool. Oh, okay, cool, yeah. I'd heard something about that they were going to get rid of the girl because she wasn't uh, wasn't very popular. So, yeah, that'll, that'll be interesting. Yeah, I'll have to check that out. Yes, he does, Kenneth. And that's what I got. I got them from Wiener Sissel. So I was uh, eating them on the earlier live stream. Yeah. Is what close by? I'm sorry, I missed a comment close by oh the the food lab that's nah, it's about 10 minutes or so it's about just down the road but i have to be there early because um even they schedule it if you don't get there early they fill up and then you don't get paid you only get half because they fill up too quick so i always try to be there way before it's time so I actually went there one time and I got there at the last minute. And even though they, you know, have so many slots, they like overbook and then people come in there and then they fill up. Yes, I do, Ken Kenneth. I did a review on them. So you can go check it out. And I also did a couple of, uh, a couple of chats where I had them. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, the tasting is, uh, it's just on the other side of town, not too far. Yeah, I got to get there early because uh, it's fairly popular. A lot of people go there and they only have so many slots. And once they're full, then they close that particular testing down. There was a couple of times where I got this stuff and I went to go qualify for it. And then while I was taking the little survey and then I said I qualified for it and I went to go pick what time I wanted it said they were all filled and they filled up the, like that quick within like five minutes yes I did Kenneth all right sent one thanks for stopping by nice to have you here hope you have a good one yep and I got the uh... okay Kenneth I got one for you I know since you follow, you follow Ian and I just went here the other, I, I went here earlier and I still got to do my review on it, but I went there and I went down to Carl's Jr's. So I'm just like Kenneth, Kenneth, just like Ian, I got the bacon truffle Angus burger. So yeah. So there you go, Ian. <laughs> following in Ian's footsteps so yeah didn't even know it was uh coming out but I actually got that in the mail after I watched Ian's review of it found out it was coming out yes he did the funny part is on this one it says starts March 27th So I'm convinced that Ian has a inside connection on his reviews. So yeah, he did his the other day. It was $6.99 for the single and $9.99 for like a double, I think. So yeah. No, I did, I did not, but... Uh, when I put my review out, you'll see, Kenneth. Got to do the review, and I've got to edit it and put it together, so it'll be up eventually. But, uh, yeah. So, yeah. Mountain Dew Blast. Uh, Baja Blast. I have tried that. I get that at Taco Bell. Occasionally. When I've got stuff over there. I think they actually sell it in the stores as well. 
Yeah, Infinite Maw, I know you were in there earlier and I'm, I had to step out. Now I'm back. <laughs> For a little while anyway, before I go. I had to use the facilities. I think those chili fries went through me. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Kenneth. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah. Well, sometimes, you know, that happens. <laughs> you never know. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that's the thing. I, I mean, you know, when these things come out, I'll try it one time. And I do kind of like, you know, sometimes these things are a little bit expensive for what you get. And, you know, I don't really like paying that kind of money for them. But it seems like all the new stuff, are, that's a standard for the burgers now. Because I remember when Carl's Jr.'s first came out with the $6 burger... And the price was like three dollars or three ninety five or whatever, and they said it was like, you know, you get what you get at a um, regular place for a six dollars burger, you know, and then and then now all of a sudden they've uh, raised it up and the price is six dollars for it. So it's kind of you know, they jacked the price up on it, but they're doing that everywhere. They're doing that with everything. They're doing it with fast food they're doing with food in the grocery store you know loaf of bread's five dollars now so yeah it's everywhere the reason everything and mcdonald's raised all their prices too so i'm gonna be making box mac and cheese um yeah i don't i don't uh i don't know i don't uh i don't do the homemade mac and cheese all that well I just do it out of the box, although the meatloaf's going to be homemade, so I'll I'll take a picture and I'll put it on Instagram. Yeah, it is. Exactly. That's what I that's why I didn't want to get a double. I didn't want to get that so much for it. You know, it's a little bit a little bit pricey, especially for the the burgers. They're not all that big. And I think that what you're paying for on that one is you're paying for that Angus meat that's like a... Hey, team. Delicious family. How's it going? <sighs> yep, exactly. They're raising the price on everything, so you got to pay what you got to pay if you want to try the new stuff. Although, you know, especially when they put a new, a new thing out and it's just a remix of all the stuff they've already got. You know, like the the steak steak rattlesnake fries from Taco Bell. They had all those things. They just put them together in a different combination and called it rattlesnake fries. You, you can hack. You can make your own version of it. You can make, you know, substitutions and add things and subtract things and make your own. So it's all how, how you make a different combo. <laughs> I did that with the um, Burger King. I put the... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've been to the habit. I was actually going to try. I was going to do a review on that when they had their French onion burger. But I just never went there. Um, I'm not. The habit's okay, but I don't know. If I'm going to get the habit burger, I'd rather get in and out burger. It's the same price. So, yeah, I don't know. A lot of people like it, but... I'd rather go to In-N-Out Burger or Five Guys or that Fat Burger that I had the other day. That was that was actually pretty good. That pound and a half burger. <laughs> Why you stay there too long? They kick you out. I remember that there was a comedian. Um, oh God, John Panette. If you guys want some, you want to laugh. There's a comedian out there, John Panette. He was a um, comedian, and he was like a real big comedian. He'd be like, you know, 300 pounds or whatever. And he had this one album it's called Show Me the Buffet. And he was talking about going to the buffet, and the Chinese owner got mad at him because he stayed there all day eating all their food. And then the Chinese, you're gone now. 
No more food for you. <laughs> yeah. No more food for you. Go home. We out of business. <laughs> you ate all the food. <laughs> Yeah. So I guess that's what Ira is doing. The owner kicked him out because he ate all the food. <laughs> yeah. That'd be funny. You go now. <laughs> and then he said he um, went to a, a Japanese all-you-can-eat sushi and he brought a seal with him. <laughs> and he was feeding the food to the seal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah, that would be the funny part. Or some people bring Tupperware into the buffet. <laughs> Save this food and or a, a, like a Ziploc bag and they put all the stuff in there, hide it under their coat. <laughs> I did the Well, I did the opposite once I was at a um buffet and I took too much and I had fried chicken and I put it on my plate and I didn't want it. So I went back and I put the fried chicken, I put it back in the buffet because I didn't want it to go to waste. It had just been sitting on my plate. It didn't, you know, I didn't have it with anything. It didn't have gravy or anything on it. <laughs> but you're not supposed to do that. Once you take it off the buffet, you're not supposed to put it back. But I was little, I was like five or something like that. <laughs> and my mom's like, What'd you do with that chicken? Like, I went and put it back. <laughs> just don't do that. Someone else has got to eat it, but I said, it's just sitting on my plate. There is a Golden Corral in uh, the next town over, uh, Tracy. They've got, uh, that's where, uh, one of these days I'll go on a road trip over there. They've got uh, Golden Corral, Sonic, um, Five Guys, a um, couple other places that I'd wanted to try over there. Blaze Pizza. They have one called the Squeeze Burger. And uh, a couple other places over there. Yeah. And like I said, I'd like to try the buffets in um, Vegas. All the ones over there. But they're real expensive. Some of them are like 100 bucks. But they're probably good. But uh, yeah, we don't have many buffets around here anymore. At least where I'm at. Yeah, they have a Golden Corral. They also have a home hometown buffet over there. Like I said, one of these days I'll get out there. I went over there one time, one time uh, several months ago, and I couldn't believe that I did this. I went there and I did three reviews in one day, three different reviews while I was over there. I was so full by the time... <laughs> I went over there because I had, um, they were all back to back. I went to Five Guys, I went to Sonic, and I went to, I think it was Taco Bell was the other one. All three in one. All three in one day. <laughs> back to back. <laughs> so, yeah. That was almost as, as, um, when I went and got that giant burrito, that was like massive, that, uh. Yeah, that one was that one was epic. I don't I don't think I'll do that one again. That was just a huge burrito. <laughs> yeah, five pounds is a, a little bit too much for anything, you know. Well, now we got the got the cops coming. Maybe they're after me. I hope they didn't. I hope that someone didn't turn me into SWAT, you know. I've seen that happen. People come and call SWAT on you. Yeah. Hometown. Yeah, Golden Corral was a little bit better, but also it's I think it's a little more expensive for Golden Corral too. Yeah. Golden Corral is all you can eat steak and then they have a little bit of everything. That would be my choice, but like I said, I'm I don't go out to Tracy all that much, so I have to kind of do a, um, you know, like a field trip out there because that's where the Winco is as well. I go over there and they got a lot of cool stuff at Winco. That's where I found some of the stuff that I did reviews on that they don't have other places. You can get like bulk, 
bulk candy, bulk items. Yeah, pot roast is good. And I think they have like fried chicken and other stuff like that. And I guess their biscuits are supposed to be pretty good over there. The, the rolls, I think it's a yeast rolls that they have at Golden Corral. I haven't been there for a while, so I don't remember. It's been several years. What time is it? 2.40. I'm probably gonna go in about uh, 15 minutes or so. That way I can get on the road. So just chatting with you guys for a little while, a little while longer. Yeah, that's what I've heard, you know. They do that, and some of them, yeah, it's live, and they come in there and they bust your door open while you're uh, online, and then they, they report the people and say they're doing something, and it's not true, and yeah, it's not a good thing when that happens, so. I'm out in public, so I don't know. <laughs> I'm just sitting in my car, out in front of a Starbucks, actually, so. Yeah, that's not good. That shouldn't happen. Yeah, I've actually done that a couple of times. I've been to Olive Garden. I had their never-ending pasta bowl. But again, their, um, our nearest Olive Garden, I think they've got it over in Tracy, so they don't have one here. I did that a couple of times and uh, tried all the different variations of it where you can get, like, the different pasta, the different sauces and all that. I had that a couple times. I like their, um, the peach tea that they have at Olive Garden. Peach Bellini tea. Those are good. But I haven't been to Olive Garden in a long time. Like, 10 years probably. Been a while. <laughs> like I said, I don't get out to be, I don't go out to, like, eat at restaurants much anymore. I do my cooking at home and I do fast food every once in a while so that's about it I don't know I don't know if I don't have the patience for it or you know it's real expensive to eat out all the time and I don't know around here sometimes it's uh oh, okay I'll have to go check that out later maybe yeah, I'll, I'll take a look and see if I could find that. I know there was a couple of people that I followed that said that the same thing happened to them. They had the SWAT raid them. I guess that's a, that's the fun thing to do now, to call SWAT on people, you know. Someone's always got to spoil it for someone, you know. I don't know. I don't think that's right, but that's what happens. They got the trolls that like to play jokes and do all that stuff. It kind of goes back to like the old time where the people would call into the television shows or the radio shows and they'd, you know, say stuff on there. Then they'd get, they'd, uh, they'd hang up on them because they'd, you know, say something or they'd uh, have a funny name. It actually happened here. Uh, my local news station, when they had that uh, airliner that was in San Francisco, it was a Asian... Was it uh, Asian Air or whatever? Malaysia Airlines or one of those, whatever. When it landed in San Francisco, the tail hit the um, hit the ground, and then they had to um, evacuate the people when they were on the ground and get them all out. And then uh, someone called into the news station and um, said that they were uh, they had the official names of the pilots, and then the newscasters went on air. And they read the names of these news, the, the pilots of the plane. And they didn't know that they were jokes until they started reading it. And then they're like, and the pilots of the airliner were we too low. Um, something wrong. Holy fook. And uh, was it bang ding ow. Something like that. The lady actually read it on air before they realized what it was. <laughs> After that, then they kind of, uh, then they went, oh, okay, well, apparently that's not the real names of the pilots. <laughs> they didn't, they didn't check their sources before they read them on air.
So yeah, that that thing happens all the time. They're playing jokes or when they call in and you know, say names. Used to listen to the Howard Stern show and the guys would call into the radio stations and just yell, Baba Booey, Baba Booey, Baba Booey. <laughs> so yeah, that's uh that's all the jokes. But that was funny because it actually got through. And they read them on the air. <laughs> yeah. They got the people that record their calls. They call into these. Some of them like the smaller radio stations. And they don't have like a screener or anything like that. They call in. Say they're from something. And then they play a joke on them. That's why they have the second seven second delay. But that one got across from. That got away from. Them. Yeah. It was funny, but uh, then the station had to apologize for saying that, uh, well, they didn't check the facts and before it. And actually, some intern that was uh, working there that uh, he was playing a joke, I guess, and he said that that was official word and it was checked, and he ended up getting fired because uh got across. Hey, not another Vegas doll. How's it going? Oh, yeah. Starting John. You know, I used to listen to um, Howard Stern all the time, but I canceled my subscription. And <laughs> You go home now. No more food for you, Ira. You go home now. I dry cleaner now. No more food for you. <laughs> this is, uh, what is it? Uh, why you eat so much? Eat broccoli. You too big. No more food for you. Go home. We dry cleaner now. You scare my wife. <laughs> that was funny. You've been here four hour. Go home. <laughs> yeah, that was a funny one. Used to, I had all those old ones. I had the, um, oh, all the comedian ones I was talking about that I used to listen to on there. Richard Pryor, George Carlin, all the old classics. So, yeah, those are funny. Show me the buffet. <laughs> Talked about he was in Vegas and he lost his money in Vegas. And uh, that he lost he lost his money in Vegas, and uh, but he got him back at the buffet. Said he was at the prime rib counter going, hit me again, hit me again. <laughs> I'll double down on that prime ribbed. <laughs> yep. That's the way you got to get your money's worth out of it. Uh, no, actually, that's one I think I want to watch. Um, I'm going to see if it's out. Like, I have HBO, so maybe it'll come out on HBO eventually. But I heard it was pretty funny. Yeah, I have to. I have to watch it. Um, yeah, every once in a while they they get movies out, or and then or they make it to TV eventually. I'll watch it there. I don't want to have to pay for like Netflix or if you do the on demand movies on there, they're like you know five dollars or six dollars sometimes for like a new release, and I don't want to pay that for. Just to watch it on TV. Yeah. That blinker fluids. Yep. Yeah, you got to watch the blinker fluids. They used to be. Some places still are. But uh, you don't want to go to them. It's like the the one in Vegas Vacation. Where they took Cousin Eddie. Took him to the 99 cent buffet. <laughs> that was pretty nasty looking. The blue and the yellow food. And the chicken feet and they were eating all that stuff in that buffet hey Jones AB how's it going yeah I was just talking for a little bit I'm probably gonna have to go soon because I have to I have to get somewhere I have to do some food tasting later so I can't stay on too 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 much longer yeah yeah Ken Jong yeah he had that one uh Oh, the Ken, what was it? Uh, he had that show on TV for a while. Dr. Ken, that was it. That guy, 
that was on for a little while, and then it got canceled. He was also in The Hangover and uh, a couple other ones. Yeah, Hangover was funny. That was a funny one. That was in Vegas. <laughs> well, at least the first one was. Yeah, Prime Rib. Get him back at the Prime Rib. Where he talked about... Um, yeah, he talked about the Wizard of Oz buffet and uh, at the MGM. <laughs> I actually went there to the MGM Grand and ate at their buffet. <laughs> He's talking about he was in the line and the um, Dorothy was ask, asking him, are you a good witch or are you a bad witch? Get out of the line. I want a sandwich. <laughs> He says, people in buffets take too long. He says, you know, he's all skinny people. You guys need to get out of the line. He says, you guys sit there and you take too long to decide if you want a dish. Just grab and move, grab and move. Get out of my way. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. I think I kind of knew that. I think I knew that it was based on a real, a real doctor that was like that. I have... Kaiser over here, so I know how they can be. Sometimes they're not really friendly. Yeah, I've I've had my share of Kaiser. One time I was uh when I was in, in actually in um Arizona when I was going to school, I had Kaiser. And uh <laughs> oh wow, that's not good. When I went over to um when I was in school, I had to go to, uh, um, I had a sinus infection and I had to go to the doc the doctors over there and they were outside of Kaiser, but I, I found one that was like under the medical plan or whatever. And I was able to do it or whatever, but I went in there and I told the doctor that I just needed, um, some antibiotics cause I had a sinus infection and the doctor's like, well, we have to examine you and da 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 da. And I'm like, okay, whatever. Then the, the guy like goes and he pushes right on my on my sinuses like that and he pushes down real hard and he's all does that hurt? And I'm like, yes, it hurts. And he's all, oh, are you, so are your sinuses tender? I'm like, yeah, they're a tender. And he's like, oh, okay. So is your you know do you do you have blood or whatever when you when you blow your nose? And I said, well, a little bit. And then he says, oh, is it stuffed up? Is it inflamed? And I'm like, yes, it is. And then he says, oh, well, it appears that you have a sinus infection because <laughs> your sinuses are tender and they're swollen and da-da-da-da-da. And I'll prescribe you some antibiotics. Take care of that. And I said, thank you. I could have told you that. <laughs> but I had to get his official diagnosis of it. <laughs> so, yeah, sometimes doctors are like that. They state the obvious. But you got to follow the rules. Follow the rules with Kaiser or with whatever program you're on. <laughs> Give you the runaround. <sighs> now they even have it where you can do um, online consulting. Where they just go on like uh, FaceTime or whatever or Skype. And they diagnose, this, they diagnose you on camera. They actually had a thing here. Um, back when uh, marijuana, you know, was... Uh, legally they have a thing now where you can get you know your your um, card to get uh, legal marijuana and all you you don't have to go to a doctor you go to this uh, service and it's an online diagnosis where the doctor does a um where the doctor uh, does an online consultation they put you on screen for a little while and then they give you your approval for your card and then you can go down to the medical dispensary and get your marijuana and you don't have to go into an office or anything like that you just do it on video so that's a that's a new thing now on screen you know diagnosis or whatever consultation i think that's what they call it yeah <laughs> yeah all kinds of different stuff now yep So did uh, Jesse and James, did you guys um, get your new Epicurean episode or are you still in the process of filming that?
because I was actually thinking of a new sandwich creation and I was gonna make a challenge or something. Yeah, my sister actually worked at one of those um, places for a little while where they had all the different marijuana that you can get as like a dispensary or whatever. She said it was interesting because they had all kinds of different blends. Okay. That's cool. Um, like I said, I don't know if I'll be around because I've got to do my uh, testing, so I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Punch the nose and does that hurt? <laughs> or, you know, punch you in your nose and say, appears that you have blood, bloody nose. <laughs> yeah. That guy was a real jerk. <laughs> some of those, some of those doctors are like that. They're real, they're real rude, not obnoxious and think they're Mr. Wonderful. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, I appreciate it. I'm glad you guys are, uh, you know, climbing up the ranks and you guys are getting the exposure. It's great. Yep, you can get different strains of them and they call them different things. <laughs> Do you guys ever see a um, movie called Grandma's Boy? It's out a couple of years ago. And... <laughs> The one guy in there was saying that he was growing marijuana and he had uh, different things and he called them different names. He says like one was called the Frankenstein because you walk funny after you smoke it. And oh, I forget some of the other names that he had for him. Incredible Hulk, I think was one of them. <laughs> they have different names for the different kinds. <laughs> Okay, cool. Yeah, I appreciate that. And uh, Infinite, I was going to, um, I was thinking of doing something with that. I'm actually working on, I'm working with another um, person and um, she was working on creating a new banner for my page. And uh, I don't know, eventually she'll maybe get it done. Yeah, go check Infinite Moi's channel out. They they do a lot of cool stuff. They play games. They go live. They uh, they even do a food review every now and then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because I was on... Um, the other day I was on Pusa Studios and I got a, a shout out on their, you know, spin the wheel. And uh, they gave me some advice about, uh, you know, changing the banner and putting, putting uh, different things on my channel. So I've kind of kind of tweaked the homepage a little bit and I'm working on the banner art. So I'm not a real good artist, but um, Pretzel Crisp, I, I've tried them, but I haven't done a review on them. There was actually some, I was in the store the other day and I'm gonna, I'll go back and go through the snack aisle. There are some very strange, um, items that I saw on there and they were like weird flavors and weird kind of chips and one was called like off the eaten path and it was uh like uh chia seeds or something like that and one was pretzel I think one of them was actually like a pretzel thin and it was uh mango and habanero and other kinds of flavors so yeah they had a lot of strange stuff I went down that aisle and it was like kind of the natural chip aisle. Very strange stuff there. So I have to go back and check them out. But like I said, I've got probably, I've got at least 20 re reviews that I've already done that I've got to edit and put up. So those got to go first. And then I've got other items that I still haven't tried that I've got to film reviews for. And I just got a pile of stuff. Yeah. Those are good, the little horse. Maybe I'll go back. Yeah, I might try that one. <laughs> the other day I was in a store. I'll see if they have them. It's, um, okay. Take it easy. See you later, Infinite. 
they had a hummus in the um, grocery store. I put a um, picture up on Instagram and it was um, blueberry hummus, uh, mango, and strawberry hummus. So that's different. Yeah, exactly, Yairi. You know, when you go in there and you tell them, you know, the symptoms or whatever, and they're real obvious, but then they have to be official about it and say, oh, you have a cold. Duh. <laughs> yeah, um, I got a 99 cent store. I've got a Dollar Tree. So they have different snacks in there if you go look. So you never know. Well, you know what? It's 3 o'clock. Well, guys, you know what? I think I need to wrap it up because I need to get on the road and I need to get to my testing because it's about an hour and a half and I want to get there early. So I'm going to wrap this one up. And thanks for chat chatting with me today. I can't even talk. <laughs> and um, I may be on later tonight. I don't know. If not, I'll, I may go tomorrow. I don't know. It's kind of playing it by ear here. So like I said, uh, keep an eye out for my reviews. I'm putting 